everyone. We are going to get started on Tuesday's morning warm up, and it is not going to be a 12 minute video today. It is going to be quick like it's intended to be. So let's start with our morning chant. Are you ready? I am brave. I am smart. I am loved. And I can do anything. Very good. All right, let's get going with our digraph. Remember, I am going to try my best to remember to not do the motion and just say the sound, and I would love for you to try that also. SH says, shh. WH says, TH says, CH says, ch. and the last one for today, PH says, very good. We are now going to move into sound blending. Remember the words this week are different because they ha it's not a CVC word. It has more sounds in it. Some of them do. So if you need to pause to say the sound, you are more than welcome to do so. I am going to say the word. For example, I will say the word shed. I want you to repeat the word, tell me the sounds, and repeat the word a second time. For example, I say shed. You say shed. 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 All right, let's begin with the first one. First word is them. 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 Your next word is white. White. I. T. White. Your next word is chest, like a treasure chest. Chest. Ch. E. S. T. Chest. Your next word is chin. Chin. Ch. E. N. Chin. Your next word is shark. Shark. Sh. R. Shark. Your next word is whisk. Whisk. Isk. Whisk. Your next word is phone. Phone. F-O-N. Phone. And your last word is shell. Shell. Sh-e-l. Shell. Very good. Now we are going to move on to phoneme isolation, which, which means we are isolating a sound, and it is going to be the beginning sound. I say a word, for example, I say think. I want you to tell me the beginning digraph, which would be th. All right, you ready? Your first word is whisk. Your next word is thirsty. Your next word is chest. Ch. Your next word is who. Your next word is phone. Your next word is chop. Your next word is shy. Shh. And your last word is thermos. All right, very good. Now we're moving into the last section, which is expression fluency. So students, you are going to respond by saying if the sentence is a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. Remember, with a period, we are just making a statement. A question mark, we are asking a, que a question which will require a response. 
and an exclamation point, we are saying something with a lot of excitement. Or it could be you're saying something very loud. It could be excitement, anger, frustration, um, happiness. It's just hearing that tone of voice, okay? So make sure you have those listening ears turned on like we do in class. All right, let's go. I am wearing shorts and a t-shirt, period. Can you take our photo, please? Question mark. The gopher is hiding in the ground, period. We need to clean the chimney, period. And the last one for today, that girl is really shy, period. Very good. All right, that covers everything for Tuesday's morning warm-up. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Bye, everyone.